Technology change first and foremost is ahead of us, not behind us. Changes in the geopolitical positioning of developed versus developing countries. And then thirdly is government regulation. I think uh, Jeff Bezos says it very well in his letter last year where he talks about day one companies versus day two companies. And uh, as the day one companies push on the day two companies because of these trends, the day two companies are facing change at a speed they've never had to deal with before. The first is to accept the changes indicated. Often that's really hard because, uh, let's face it, go, uh, the C-suite is it's a social organization. People have to get along with each other. People have to adjust to each other's needs and to have a successful company under threat all of a sudden, it's hard to get the team on the same page in terms of the order of magnitude of change that's required. So when we come in to help a company restructure, in the case of a failing company, or in case of transforming, in case of a company that needs to re-energize itself, the first thing we look for is, is there a common view of the problem and his leadership prepared to lead. In a word, speed is a friend. It's better to drive change that's approximately right rather than waiting for perfect. At the end of the day, execution is the difference, not brilliant strategy. And so uh, we'd say take advantage of the lack of time to force the organization to think through its options more quickly. So look, we've lived with the private equity uh, situation now for decades. And uh, overly simplistically, the conversation they brought to the boardroom is are you better off fixing this company in a private setting versus a public setting? And the advantage of private is you can do it right, you don't have to worry about the next quarter, you can take the hard decisions and move on. What the hedge funds have figured out, and again, overly simplistically, is I don't need to own the whole thing. I don't need to take it private. I need to be in the boardroom driving the conversation. I need to have the voice. And if I have enough of a voice, I can drive change that way. And maybe we get there faster, and uh, maybe we get there with less disruption in terms of governance. They're sort of starting to meet in the middle in some cases, you know, because the strategies evolve. And, um, and I would argue, if I had to summarize it all, they're the outside influence that can say, are we having the right conversations? And let's not just accept good enough. Well, I think their strategies are continue to evolve to the time, but given the need for rapid change, they're trying to get in a conversation in the most efficient way. And so you're starting to see private equity firms potentially willing to take less than full control or less than 100%. And you're seeing hedge funds, you know, take maybe a bigger piece of things where once they're in the conversation, they recognize the change may take a little longer than they made out, may have originally forecast. So I think they're all adjusting to each situation, but given the external forces at play, you know, the need for change is sooner, not later.